Well, good afternoon. It's 1232 when we are recording this. A lot of gray skies overhead still, and we're going to keep that throughout the rest of the day. We'll even add a chance for a few showers by this afternoon and evening. And we've got winds that are generally uh, gusty, we'll say. Uh, winds between 15 to 20 miles per hour sustained, gusting as high as 30 to 40. With the temperature in the 40s, it feels cool out there, and that's what we're going to continue to feel as winds, they're not letting up anytime soon. We're looking at winds, again, sustained out of the 20s throughout the afternoon with gusts continuing well into the evening hours into that 30 mile per hour range before they start to let up into the overnight but still breezy conditions likely to stick around at least into the overnight hours we are seeing these winds because again we're really being dominated weather wise by this upper level low that's just sitting over the northern midwest we've got a trough coming up in out of the north that's going to bring some more moisture and chances for showers in from the north as we head into the overnight hours and at first it's going to have some dry air to fight, but initially or eventually, I should say later this evening, we'll start to see that moisture fill in on the lower levels. We'll see our humidity come up here at the surface and we'll eventually start to get some of that raindrops or some of those raindrops to the ground. So cool and cloudy this afternoon heading into the evening hours. We start to pick up that rain chance out of the north again. It'll be hit and miss the quick passing, uh, but we'll likely see a widely scattered hit and miss chance for rain. So everyone's got the chance, but as we head into early Friday, that chance for rain starting to drop. We could see a few snowflakes mixed in. I don't expect much of an impact, but midday Friday, we're starting to dry out. We'll keep the clouds for a lot of our day on Friday, but Friday afternoon and evening, we'll have a chance to see somewhat of a sunset tomorrow night. But that clear sky is going to be somewhat of a double-edged sword because as that sky clears and those winds start to calm down, temperatures are going to plummet pretty quickly. We're looking at temperatures dropping below freezing by early Saturday. So your freeze tracker is showing a pretty solid chance at a late or a early April freeze here, if not a frost for a few folks, but uh, those temperatures quickly rebound into Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. We're back up into the mid 50s Saturday afternoon. Sunday looking much better. If you've got outdoor plans, we're looking at low 70s and Monday and Tuesday. That warmth continues, but you see that it also brings moisture and that will likely result in a chance for early week storms.